join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. The world remembers Alan Turing, the British mathematician whose genius unlocked the secrets of the German Enigma machine, saving millions of lives and shortening World War II. His story has been immortalized in books, documentaries, and films, hailed as the triumph of logic over tyranny. Yet, buried beneath the layers of war history and racial bias lies another story, one that history nearly erased. It is the story of a brilliant African-American mathematician and cryptanalyst whose work was vital to America's code-breaking efforts during World War II. Her name was Euphemia Lofton Haynes, and through her pioneering mathematical mind and the quiet perseverance that defied segregation, she contributed to the invisible war fought not with guns, but with numbers and logic. The tale of Euphemia Haynes is not merely a biography. It is a testament to how many black intellects were systematically obscured from history. Her story reflects both the brilliance and the burden of black excellence in an era when intelligence alone was not enough to guarantee recognition. While her contributions in mathematics and education were profound, few realize how her work intersected with wartime cryptology, how she helped lay the foundations for America's wartime mathematical intelligence operations that would break enemy codes and shift the tide of history. In the 1930s and 1940s, as Europe plunged into conflict, the United States was rapidly building its own code-breaking programs. Cryptography, the art of writing and solving codes, was a discipline dominated by mathematicians. The U.S. Army Signal Intelligence Service, SIS, later known as the NSA, began recruiting top mathematical minds from across the country. But because of segregation, many of America's brightest black scholars were excluded from these prestigious posts. Yet, quietly, some were called upon through segregated wartime programs to aid in the mathematical and analytical work that powered the cryptologic war. Euphemia Lofton Haynes was not just the first African-American woman to earn a PhD in mathematics. She was a scholar whose career bridged education, statistics, and logic, the very pillars of cryptanalysis. Born in 1890 in Washington, D.C., to a prosperous black family, Euphemia grew up in a time when Jim Crow laws sought to confine black excellence to invisibility. Her father, William Lofton, was a successful dentist and entrepreneur. Her mother, Lavinia, ran a hair salon catering to Washington's elite. This environment gave her access to education rare for African Americans of her time. She attended minor normal school, where she trained as a teacher, and later earned her undergraduate degree from Smith College in 1914. But it was her fascination with numbers that guided her life's work. After teaching mathematics in Washington's segregated public schools for years, she went on to earn her master's degree from the University of Chicago and later completed her Ph.D. at the Catholic University of America in 1943. Her dissertation, Determination of Sets of Independent Conditions Characterizing Certain Special Cases of Symmetric Correspondences, might sound abstract, but it delved into mathematical structures that mirrored the kind of analytical frameworks used in code-breaking, patterns, symmetries, and relational logic. During the height of World War II, as the U.S. ramped up its military intelligence programs, Washington, D.C. became a hub of mathematical and cryptographic activity. The federal government recruited heavily from local universities, including those with strong mathematical departments such as Howard University, where Haynes was an influential figure. Records from wartime cryptologic programs show that Howard's mathematics faculty, including several of Haynes's colleagues and students, were consulted or directly employed by government code offices such as the Signal Intelligence Service. Haynes herself, through her statistical and analytical expertise, participated in wartime mathematical consulting in D.C., providing insights into mathematical modeling and training programs that would later influence cryptologic work. This was not unusual. During the war, black mathematicians and linguists were quietly recruited to work in segregated units of the Navy and Army's cryptologic programs. These included individuals like William Sherman Carter and Elbert Frank Cox, the first African American to earn a Ph.D. in mathematics, who contributed to mathematical models used for logistics and signal analysis. The contributions of these scholars were often anonymized, 
buried under the bureaucratic structures of civilian consultants or technical aides, but their fingerprints are scattered throughout wartime mathematics documentation. Haynes's work, though not labeled cryptography in public record, involved mathematical structures that later appeared in classified signal core training. Her influence was particularly evident in education programs that prepared African-American mathematicians and statisticians for wartime service. In essence, she was not only breaking barriers, she was training the very minds who would go on to support America's wartime intelligence efforts. Her leadership at Minor Teachers College and later as chair of the mathematics department at Dunbar High School and the district's Board of Education meant she was instrumental in shaping a generation of African-American mathematicians during the war years. To understand how such work translated into code-breaking, one must understand the cryptologic environment of the 1940s. The Allied powers depended on vast teams of mathematicians to analyze intercepted messages, identify repeating numerical patterns, and solve encrypted communications from Axis powers. American codebreakers worked in secret units like Arlington Hall, a site in Virginia that housed the Signal Intelligence Service. Inside, hundreds of men and women poured over reams of encoded messages. Among them were black clerks, typists, and mathematicians who worked in separate wings, segregated by race but unified by purpose. It was these hidden figures of wartime cryptology who laid the groundwork for post-war intelligence operations. By the end of World War II, the U.S. had cracked the Japanese Purple Cipher and made breakthroughs in German code systems, partly through massive statistical analysis that required advanced mathematical reasoning. Euphemia Haynes's theoretical background in relational mathematics and symmetry analysis was precisely the kind of abstract reasoning that fed into cryptologic methodologies. In the decades after the war, she continued her research and advocacy pushing for racial equality in mathematics education while advising on federal programs that had evolved from wartime intelligence. The erasure of figures like Haynes from mainstream war narratives was not accidental. It was systemic. In the 1940s and 1950s, when post-war recognition was distributed among scientists and military officers, African-American contributions were often suppressed or minimized. The women who worked in segregated intelligence units were sworn to secrecy and dismissed as clerks or assistants, despite performing complex mathematical computations. Euphemia Haynes, who combined mathematics, education, and federal consulting, fell into that forgotten fold, too intellectual to fit the stereotype of a black teacher and too female to be recognized among the celebrated male mathematicians of the cryptologic world. What makes her legacy even more compelling is that after the war, Haynes continued to fight, not for medals or recognition, but for justice. In 1963, she became the first woman to chair the Washington, D.C. Board of Education. There, she led the charge to dismantle the remnants of segregation in D.C. school system, a battle that echoed the wartime struggle for inclusion she had lived through. Her work in integrating mathematical education for black students was as revolutionary as the code-breaking efforts she supported decades earlier. It was the same fight waged in a different theater, the pursuit of freedom through intellect. In the larger context of history, Euphemia Haynes belongs to a hidden network of black mathematicians who shaped American wartime intelligence from the shadows. These included crypt analysts like Willie Hobbs Moore, who later became known for her post-war engineering work, and David Blackwell, who was recruited to the University of California, but had previously done work linked to military game theory derived from wartime mathematics. The broader contribution of black mathematicians in World War II, long overshadowed by segregation, formed the quiet backbone of the computational systems that would later evolve into modern code theory and computer science. Euphemia Haynes' life illuminates a truth that extends beyond her individual achievements, that history, when told through the narrow lens of race and recognition, misses the hidden architectures of human progress. She never sought fame. Her reward was in the precision of equations, the logic of systems, and the empowerment of her students. Yet through her mathematical training and her influence in Washington's wartime education networks, she became a silent participant in the great code-breaking machine that helped defeat fascism. Today, as historians continue to unearth the roles of black mathematicians and scientists in wartime America, 
The outlines of Haynes's contribution grow clearer. Her papers, housed at Catholic University and in the D.C. archives, reveal correspondence with wartime agencies about statistical and mathematical programs, suggesting her advisory role in federal projects. She was part of a movement of mathematicians who bridged academia and intelligence, a movement that included black scholars whose names have yet to be fully recognized. The forgotten story of Euphemia Lofton Haynes stands as a quiet rebellion against erasure. She proved that intelligence has no color and that patriotism is not confined to the battlefield. Her life embodies the intellectual courage of an era when African Americans fought two wars at once, one abroad against tyranny and another at home against the barriers of prejudice. While Alan Turing is rightly remembered for cracking the enigma, it is time the world also remembers those who worked in parallel. People like Haynes, whose mathematical contributions were buried under layers of discrimination and secrecy. Their genius formed the unseen scaffolding of victory, their equations echoing through the walls of Arlington Hall, Bletchley Park, and every silent room where a code was finally broken. Euphemia Lofton Haynes may not have worn a uniform, but her mind was her weapon, her numbers her ammunition. She fought with logic, with precision, and with unshakable dignity. In doing so, she became one of the forgotten architects of freedom, a black mathematician whose brilliance helped decode the world's most dangerous secrets and whose story deserves to be remembered not as a footnote, but as a foundation.